Hi lovelies, hi lovelies, hi lovelies. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sarah Martucci. I'm a psychic medium, certified crystal healer, paranormal investigator. I do all the weird shit. So <laughs> if you guys are into it, follow along. It only gets stranger from here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, just that heads up, uh, some of my nicknames are the Duchess of Donuts, the Cuss Mouth Angels, well as the Tarantino of Tarot. So if you feel brave enough to enter into the den, <laughs> share a donut with me. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about some shit, okay? This is where I pull three piles of cards. You choose any and all that you're drawn towards. But first I speak on the astrology of the week. I love to call it astro fuckery, call it whatever you want. Uh, just general reminder, the planets don't make us do shit. Uh, but there is a certain energy, a vibe, if you will, and that I believe if we tune in and tap into that, not only is information power, uh, but this also kind of helps us make this energy or maybe somehow find a way to use this energy and make it work for us. Bless. Okay. So if you guys are into that, follow along. Hopefully this helps you. Um, and, and let me know if your card pile resonated for you. If the astro fuckery made sense, any and all feedback helps me to grow. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. All right, with that being fucking said, let's get the fuck into it. Okay, uh, this week we've got some important shit coming up. Uh, we've got, I really kind of want to focus on this new moon uh, in Pisces, and it's coming up on the 10th. Now, this is going to, for a couple things, this is the last new moon of the astrological year, okay? So for uh, in astrology, the year starts, um, you, I think this year is going to be March 19th, uh, that's Aries season. Aries season is the beginning of the astrological new year. So this is the last new moon. This is also the last new moon before eclipse season starts and things start getting fucking spicy. And the last thing you want to do during eclipse season is try to manifest anything. Uh, that's like trying to write out your dissertation uh, while you're holding on to a bull in a bar <laughs> and you're just hoping one of them works out. Okay. So let's not do that. Let's use this last new moon of not only the astrological new year or the astrological year, uh, but also right before we get into eclipse season to really be clear. And especially after the last two weeks, we'll get into that in a fucking minute. Uh, but after the last two weeks and everything that came to the forefront, everything that is on the table now, everything that we have learned, what would we like a new beginning on? It would also be incredibly fucking helpful if you look at your chart and you see where Pisces is, okay? So that way we know what house we're working with, what themes are going to be showing up here, maybe too in the future when it comes to the new moons and the full moons. If you guys are into it, let me know. Maybe I can go through sign by sign and let you guys know what house this might be showing up for you in, okay? So that maybe you've got a good idea here. And usually do that by your rising sign. So your rising signs could be that first house, and then you count out the rest of them until you get to Pisces. Okay, good for you. If Pisces is in the first, whatever, make it easy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I think it's important. Um, know where the fuck Pisces is in your chart. Know your chart. Just like you should know your fucking story. If you guys are into astrology, I think that this is just natural progression, right? And so get in your chart. Check it out. If you need help, say something in the comments below. I'll help you figure it the fuck out, all right? Also, too, let me know if this resonates for you guys. Um, and, you know, feedback helps me to grow. But with that being said, uh, Pisces, y'all, this new moon, I would say this is actually a fantastic new moon to manifest stuff. Um, not only because it's, you know, at the end of the year and right before eclipse season. But again, these last two weeks, like, y'all, I don't know about you guys, but these last two weeks have been fucking wild. <laughs> fucking wild. Fucking wild. <laughs> For me, okay, this new moon's going to be in my eighth house. I'm a Leo rising, so this is going to be in my eighth house. And that's usually, eighth house is a lot of things. But that's like shared resources, um, you know, money coming in from other people like an inheritance, sex, death, birth, taxes, literally. <laughs> okay, <laughs> literally. Okay, so the eighth house holds a lot here, but this is usually about like, after the seventh house, how we're in partnership, and then eighth house, how we're sharing resources and working together, right? So. 
I think it's just interesting, especially because the last two weeks have been so huge around boundary and boundary work for me. Holy Jesus. And with Pisces in my eighth house, my boundaries aren't the greatest. They're watery here because Pisces is ever flowing, ever moving. Right, babe? Can't touch her. Transcends it. <laughs> I'm transcending this bullshit. Can't touch me. God bless Pisces. I wish I could do the same. All right. <laughs> I really fucking wish I could. Uh, but yeah, huge themes around boundaries this week and people overstepping them. It's been fucking wild, but it's forced me to sit down and really kind of face people, um, get better around my boundary work, say what the fuck my needs are. And if somebody here doesn't want to be my friend or be around me because I'm setting a boundary to protect myself, they ain't the one. I don't care what position this is. Okay. So at least for me, that's been like the theme and so many things have been going on, but that's been an overarching situation where it's like boundaries. What are we doing, babe? Are you still working with the same old boundaries you've had since you were a kid? Also to my people pleasing tendencies coming up. And it's like, why am I putting my health, my happiness, my, my protection second for somebody else? Like <laughs> we don't... <laughs> We don't need to be doing this anymore. I am 40. I'm a whole 40 years old. Okay. So if you two are kind of struggling with that, please know there is no age. You know what I mean? Where it's like you finally figure it out. Uh, but a general reminder too, like if this is around your boundaries as well, fucking hold fast. Let people know. And if somebody here can't respect, won't respect, is unable to respect those boundaries, then we need to make sure that we are surrounded and have people that are close to us that actually respect those boundaries, love us, respect us, treat us with kindness and respect. Uh, but again, look to see where the fuck Pisces is in your chart so that you guys have a better idea around those themes that are coming up for you. But also the last two weeks probably gave you a heads up around, you know, what it is that maybe we want to start over with fresh again. And that's what new moons do. They kind of, it's right after the new moon, or I'm sorry, full moon, you know, things have been, you know, coming down, coming down, coming down to this new moon, and then it's going to go zero dark 30, and then, <laughs> you know, the, the moon will come out again. And listen, when the moon comes out again is when we start to manifest. We don't want to manifest or do manifestation work right before a new moon, the moment of the new moon. We want to see that sliver o moon in the sky again so that we can actually work with the energy at play. So during the new moon itself, make sure that you're clear on your goals, what it is that you want um, and, and with Pisces here, maybe there's something about dreaming or maybe going bigger on our dreams, not just settling for the same old shit. Okay. Uh, Pisces too also has a tendency to get stuck in the past or, um, they're, in, it's a water sign. Okay. So very sentimental, like go back, reminisce about the past, um, I, I know there's like a common theme where it's like Pisces has a hard time letting go of their exes, things of that nature. So also too, I think at this new moon, it would be important to, what are we ready to let the fuck go of? Do you know what I mean? Like, where are we ready to start new in our life here to get a new cycle going? What are we ready to let go of? Um, and maybe too, maybe it's time for us to dream bigger. <laughs> Y'all, okay? So don't be afraid to sit down and get clear on what it is that you want, knowing full well where Pisces is in your chart. So we've got the extra themes coming up. Okay. And then sit down and focus on what you would, what you want to manifest like the next day or two after the new moon, when we can see the moon in the sky, then it's Thundercats go because then the moon is starting to build energy up to that full moon again. This is gorgeousness. This is what we want. Okay. So work with that energy. Have a good time before eclipse season gets here. Cause it's going to be spicy. Y'all it's going to be in Libra and Aries. Ah! And it, <laughs> especially with Aries in the mix, goddamn, this is going to get spicy. Okay, <laughs> so get ready. Get ready for, you know, eclipse season. But again, use this last new moon and do something with it if you're ready. Again, what were those themes happening for the last two weeks? What was the reoccurring bullshit that kept showing up? And what are you ready now to let go of? Maybe start over fresh after everything that I've learned, after everything that's come to the forefront. What am I ready to work with now and give myself a new beginning on? You deserve it. You hear me? You deserve it. I don't care what the fuck's happened. I don't care what the hell's gone down. Everybody deserves a fresh new start. Everybody. Everybody. I, I don't even throw things at me. I don't give a fuck. Everybody. Okay. 
Uh, last thing I want to say is that Mercury also moves into Aries the day before this new moon. So I'm kind of wondering, not only are we maybe dreaming bigger and deciding maybe what we want for ourselves, what we're letting go, what we're starting fresh on, but maybe with uh, like Mercury moving into the sign of Aries, <laughs> maybe we can really put our words to use here, or maybe it's very clear for us around what action that we got to take. And maybe we're able to speak on this thing and maybe really understand fully where the fuck we are coming from. So if there's also been kind of a disconnect between your head and your heart, it kind of feels like this new moon's going to reconnect that space. Give us the words and the thoughts to be able to express what Pisces has a difficult time with. I mean, they're the culmination of all the signs. And so they're, they kind of, it's more of a feeling from them. Do you know what I mean? But Aries, Aries got feelings, but they're going to tell you, <laughs> And properly identify. They don't have that problem. Okay? So Mercury moving into Aries will hopefully help us to identify that overwhelming feeling of what we're looking for or this joy and put it into actual words and actions. Fucking right. Okay, so just know this is beautiful stuff. And then we move into eclipse season. God bless us all. All right, we'll survive this. Do you hear me? We've survived every single one before that. We're going to be just fine. This is, again, about being cognizant, being present, working with this very moment that we fucking have. Do not let it slip through your fingers, okay? All right. I love you guys. If you're done with that, uh, you know, all the chaos and fuckery, I sure the fuck am. Follow me into the next screen. We're going to pull three piles of cards, and we'll see what the fuck the week has got to bring. All right. See you guys in a sec. <laughs>
confusion. This is daydreaming. This is maybe not always being in reality or being here in this present moment. Uh, with the Seven of Cups 2, it's going to talk about seven weeks, seven days, the seventh of a month. Uh, I'm going to reference the month of July. Uh, with Cups here, this moves pretty slow, not as slow as Earth. So I'm looking more at like weeks and months, okay? Um, now if we were looking for a yes or no this week, with these three cards, I would say that this is a no until we can get out of our own way. Mmm, we'll get on to that. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> now around love and relationships. Uh, this could really feel like I'm ready to take off here. I'm ready to go do something big or I'm ready to take maybe a leap of faith with multiple other people. Look, this can be as simple as like going on a huge trip with friends over to Europe. Uh, this could be as... This could be as intense as like a one-on-one -on -one relationship here. I'm finally allowing myself to trust somebody and I'm I'm saying yes, maybe to a next stage or like moving in together, getting married, committing here in some way, shape or form. You know, with fire here, they're not always known for their commitment. Not always, okay? But with the three of wands here, like we are committed to something. We're very excited about it. This is something that we want very badly in our heart. We've been dreaming about this for a while. And so when the three of wands comes around, we are ready fucking spaghetti, okay? Like literally the ships are coming in. Um, Maybe even two here around love and relationships. This can just kind of feel like, yeah, we're ready to take off. We're ready to go to the next level. But like my fears and worries keep popping up. And maybe I even feel overwhelmed about like which way I'm going to go here, what I'm going to do, where we're going to live, what's going to happen, especially if maybe you're deciding to move in with somebody that also has kids. So again, this can be happening in a multitude of different ways. Maybe for some of you guys, you're moving in with somebody, you know, they've got kids, you've got kids. How the fuck is this all going to work out? Do you know what I mean? This feels right, but I'm kind of freaked out and I keep daydreaming or freaking out about like the possibility of everything blowing up, uh, especially with the eight of crystals here. And it's just saying fears and worries keep coming up. And with the seven of cups, I'm overwhelmed and I keep daydreaming of everything blowing up, even though in my fucking heart with the three of wands, I'm ready to fucking go. Titty shake to the bank time. So this can be very confusing this week. Um, and or like the energy that we're picking up here and that we're feeling is just feels kind of maybe very back and forth or I want to move forward, but my fears, and my worries keep holding me back. So I would say maybe the advice here around love and relationship this week, you guys, is to get out of your own fucking way. Sit down and really get clear. Maybe talk with an important friend, a therapist, somebody here that you trust, okay? That you can bounce some of these things off of. Maybe even hear your partner, okay? Sit down and have this discussion. I want to move in or I want to go to this next level or I'm ready to get married or whatever the fuck this is. I keep picking up people getting moving in together, okay? So um, just take what resonates. Uh, but whatever is happening here, I'm ready to move to that next level, but I'm freaked the fuck out. I'm kind of wondering how this is all going to happen and I feel completely and utterly overwhelmed. Maybe even for some of you guys, you're responsible for making sure all of this happens. The person's just going to meet you there. That's too much. That's too fucking much. Maybe also too, for some of you guys around love and relationships, a previous relationship, like maybe we got to this point, everything imploded, it was terrible. You know, and so maybe we're worried that something's going to come back on repeat here. For some of you guys with the Seven of Cups, you're literally having terrifying dreams. It's fear dreams around what's coming up, even though you want this thing so goddamn bad. And literally, it's calling to you. So I just want to remind you guys around love and relationships, whether this is family, friendship, or like love, love. Um, we need, we need, we need, we need to sit down and maybe have an important conversation around our fears and our worries and some of the dreams and the overwhelm that we have coming up around what we got to do here next. You should not be carrying this all by yourself, okay? And we need to make sure that we're communicating so everybody's on the same page and we all understand what's going on, especially if you want this thing to move forward, okay? Now, if we were looking around work and career, guys, I really just feel like this one might just go across all three, <laughs> okay? This meaning here, because it just feels so fucking clear to me. That for some of you guys around work and career, there's something here I really want to do. Maybe for some of you guys want to be a fucking rock star. You're goddamn right. Okay? Maybe you want to be a singer in a, in a band. But like your butthole keeps eating your underwear every time you get to go up on stage. You keep having fever dreams around getting up there and shit in your pants. Do you know what I'm saying? And so it's we need a moment to pull back and be like, listen, these are just my fears and worries holding me back. i got to let my butthole eat my underwear. In order to move forward, I can buy new underwear. I can't buy this fucking experience. And so I, and I'm just going to sit here and just let it pass me by again? No. 
No. Aren't you done with that? Aren't you done with waiting around for the perfect situation to show up? Maybe at this point, this has more to do with you taking action around first facing the fears and worries that are coming up and then taking action around what it is that you actually fucking want. What calls to your heart? There's something here with the sun in the background. There is something speaking to you. And I usually see the three of wands too. It has to do around work and career as well. So again, I'm ready to take off. I want to do this thing. This could be as simple as some of you guys wanting to start your own business, but it just feels like the timing is never right or you're overwhelmed or there's always some excuse or there's always something, something, something. We've got to put that aside, my darling, my love, especially if something is calling to you, you know you have to do this thing. March feels like it's Thundercats go, okay? Like we are ready to do this. No longer letting our fears and worries hold us back. Maybe we're facing the overwhelm when we're asking others to work with us on this. Or with the three of wands, you have to work with others towards a goal. If you're doing this all by yourself, no wonder you're overwhelmed. Am I calling you out? <laughs> okay. No wonder you're overwhelmed. So sit down and ask for help. Even if this is at a regular job where you're getting shit done, there is something overwhelming and too much right now. And we're ready to take off on a project or do, some, do something important. Sit down, look to see who can help us here and work past those fears and worries or you're always going to be stuck in this space. Is that really truly what you want? Something to consider, okay? And then finally, maybe here around, work, uh, around health and healing, Again, this just feels like maybe for some of you guys, you've been wanting with wands here to like go out and like exercise, start a new exercise routine, but there's always, you know, something coming up and maybe we're scared of people seeing like what we look like. Honey, you're supposed, the gym is for you. The outs, the streets are for you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I remember that too. When I was at my biggest, like going out, I just didn't want people to see me exercising. I didn't want to be made fun of. I don't want people to like... Yeah, make fun of me and do the whole nine yards. I genuinely understand it. But hear me right fucking now. Fuck them. And this is your street too. This is your gym too. This is your space to like take care of yourself. And or maybe starting at home and doing like videos and stuff until you feel comfortable to get outside and start walking, doing what the fuck you got to do. All I'm saying is around health and healing, no more excuses. Start that yoga video. Go outside and start walking. Start lifting those weights. Whatever's going on, no more excuses. And if you need help, get a buddy to go with you. Have somebody here that keeps you accountable. That's actually incredibly, it's actually really, really, really helpful. When I would do uh, like the running app, like on my phone, I don't necessarily always like somebody with me exercising, but like if we're going at the same time and we're like on like an app and we're like racing each other, fucking perfect. So also too, just something to think about. Anything else around health and healing? I just think that this would be a really good time to sit down and face any mental barriers and blocks that we have, especially around going bigger and better in our life. I, actually, this is just for anything. And so with card pile number one this week, no more holding yourself back. No more telling yourself no. No more shutting yourself down out of your fears and your fucking worries. You quite literally do not have time. And let me tell you what, the last thing you want in the next phase of whatever the fuck happens next, right? <laughs> the last thing you want is fucking regret. Because I'll tell you, the worst thing coming through from people that I help connect with their loved ones in spirit when I do my mediumship is fucking regret. And <clears throat> So especially too, if you guys have a history or we know maybe somebody in our family here has done that, like no more holding yourself back. You, you can't do it. So not only is this for you, this might also be for family, for some of you guys too, standing up here, taking the reins, having other come on to help and like getting something done here. Whatever it is, stop holding yourself back. See yourself for the incredible person that you are. And I just want you to realize too especially if you guys are dealing with anything and you're afraid of like maybe being by yourself in some way, shape or form. I want to say for some of you guys that like, I feel like we've been doing this by ourselves for so long. So what the fuck are you actually worried about? Work with others towards the goal. You are not by yourself. You don't have to do this all by yourself. Reach out and ask for help. Even if it's just to check with somebody about where you are mentally, making sure that like you're here in this present moment. Take care of yourself. You hear me? 
And just remember, not only do you have this, but maybe a part of what's coming up right now is forcing you to sit down and look at the ways in which you're holding yourself back and that we can't do this anymore. Maybe for you guys this week, this is letting go of the ways that I hold myself back. I fuck with myself mentally. I gaslight myself. I tell myself I can't handle shit, which is absolute bullshit. So quit doing that crap to yourself. Sit down, trust yourself, love on yourself, and fucking say yes. You got this. Card pile number two. <laughs> Here's your beautiful cards. Here's your beautiful cards. Your first one's a court card. Uh, usually talking about somebody that comes on the scene to fuck shit up or to be helpful. Sometimes the energy we got to take on. Y'all got the queen of stars, a.k.a. the queen of coins. Next, you got a major arcana card. Talk about major change, major evolution, major moving forward. You guys got the chariot. And then finally, you guys got the six of crystals, a.k.a. the six of swords. This to me is actually kind of a beautiful combo. We'll get into it. All right. So first, the queen of coins. Uh, this can talk about my earth ladies. So I'm looking at my Virgos, my Capricorns, uh, my Tauruses. Uh, traditionally, this stands for a female our age or older that shows up on the scene. Sometimes this can be a mother figure. Sometimes this is just an important woman with those placements showing the fuck up. Um, this woman's actually incredibly supportive. She's very helpful. I see her as very present in this moment. She's always ready to help. Okay. <clears throat> also, too, with the rabbit down at the bottom, she is incredibly fertile. Okay. <laughs> Not only, uh, you know, with children, around children, but also around projects and creative things that are happening here. I also see her as one of my, like, top, she is the entrepreneurial queen to me, okay? And so owning our own business, working for ourselves, making that dollar holler. Also, too, whenever she comes up, I usually say to, uh, if there's a female in the reading with me, I say, hey, guess what, babe? Especially if you're in a relationship, it's time for you to take over the finances, <laughs> okay? You know best what the family fucking needs. You know exactly where everything needs to go. Uh, I think you should take over the finances at this point. Nine times out of ten, it resonates. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> take that as a message if you fucking need it. Now on the negative with the Queen of Stars, she can be stubborn. She won't fucking listen. Good luck telling her fucking anything. She wants what the fuck she wants. When she makes a decision, that's it. There is no turning back. So it can be very difficult to negotiate with her. Try to get her to see your side. Um, <clears throat> or to like bring her over on like your side of things and like see things. Right. So <clears throat> with the queen of coins here, it, man, if this is more the energy we got to take on this week, this is sitting in your motherfucking power. Know what the hell that you fucking bring to the table. And maybe for some of you guys too, have you considered starting your own business? Question mark. And, and, or your, your family. Now, with the chariot, again, this is major arcana card. This is a huge pivot point we're coming to in our life where it's like everything's different. So what the fuck are we doing? Which which direction are we going in? And that's kind of what the chariot says. If you guys notice here, there's a person in the chariot and there's two horses. It kind of looks like the horses might be going two directions. Who knows? Maybe they're going forward. We're not sure. But this card always reminds me. It's kind of saying that like we need clarity in order to find direction. When we do, this is a card of victory and success of like the highest fucking order. But you got to know which direction you're going in. You can't just willy nilly it out there. <laughs> Yay! Just screaming for, you know, directions as you go by people. Like we don't have time for that. <laughs> Once we know that direction, we can get off on the road and do our fucking thing. Also, too, with the chariot here, it's really important that you double check your vehicle and car. This is a card of travel and movement. This also reminds me of our vehicle. With the horses there, horsepower, hello. Okay, so make sure your engine's doing okay. Make sure that your tires have been rotated. Make sure that your oil is changed. And or for some of you guys, you guys might be getting a new car here soon. All right. Chariot also stands for the number seven. So I'm going to be referencing the month of July, seventh of a month, seven weeks, seven days, seven parts. You guys fucking get it. Uh, with the yin, yin and yang, though, in the middle there with the uh, little wings, uh, this also kind of says to me there's something here. Yeah, we find balance, we find victory and success, and we finally know what direction we're going in. So what are you manifesting? What are you creating? Where the fuck do you want to go? And then finally, with the six of swords, uh, this is going to kind of talk to us about, listen, you have every reason to have hope and faith around the future. That's what I love the most about this card. It also tells you that you're going to have to take a leap of faith in order to get that victory and success that we're trying for. Also, too, this is one of my cards of taking a journey, getting out there and moving along, okay? Uh, sometimes this can be a plane ride. Sometimes this can be a boat ride. 
So a cruise for some of you guys, uh, or just a boat ride, um, and or this can also be vehicle too, okay? But with the Six of Swords, like this is a mental journey that we're going on. We have every reason to have hope, faith, optimism for what's coming next. How are we sitting down here and working through our mental space, letting go of fears and worries so that we can move into this freely, okay? So you guys got a lot of movement cards, well, besides the Queen of Coins. <laughs> Yay! She's sitting fucking still, all right? Now... If we we're looking for a yes or no this week, to me, this would feel like a yes, especially if we know what the fuck we want. We know what the fuck direction we're going in and it's tally fucking ho. Titty shake to that bank, babes. Fucking right. <laughs> okay. Fucking go. Um, if you are unclear, you don't know which direction you want to go in. You're not ready to assume the power position. Do not fucking touch anything this week. Oof. All right. Especially any kind of decision. You need to be in your power this week around decisions. Now, around love and relationships, I think some of y'all are ready to like, for some of you guys, we might actually be going on a trip with an important female here. So if you're a dude or you're another female that's into females with the queen of uh, coins here, there's an important female this week that we maybe want to go and see that we want to go and visit for some of you guys, because this could be your best fucking friend we want to go see. Okay. Uh, for some of you guys, yeah, we might be planning a trip with our best friend. Uh, we might be planning a trip here for some of you guys around like love, love. Um, yeah, this might be an important female. Maybe you are the important female. Okay. With those earth signatures there. And again, she would have that in her sun, moon, rising, innermost planets, Venus, Mercury, Mars, or just heavy earth placements within the chart. If we're talking about another person. Um, but man, listen, she probably comes up with the itinerary. She's probably already paid for it. You guys got to give her money. Or this would be you, okay, if you're a female. <laughs> or even if you're a dude and you're the one that's responsible for everything, okay? We all have male and female energies within us, okay? All right. Um, but th just take it as it resonates, all right? Uh, but essentially, we would. this woman's got it down pat, <laughs> all right? Her bags are packed. She's ready to fucking go. She's been saving for this thing for a fucking minute. Um, and so again, for some of us, we might be going to see family. We might be going to go see a good friend. We might be, uh, going to go see someone that we really, truly fucking love. This is somebody that we're invested in and that's invested in us. Like there's real true friendship here. Um, especially at the core of it. Now with the six of crystals, again, we might be taking a trip to the water, to the beach. If we're looking at the water here. Okay. Um, we might be considering that maybe in the month of June with the six of uh, swords with the number six or maybe six weeks, six days. Maybe the chariot here is also referenced to June and July with the number seven. Or maybe we're looking at like July 6th. Do you know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the numbers and how the fuck they work themselves out. Even maybe for some of you guys, we're trying to decide between June and July, okay? Uh, but this just feels really good to me. This feels like very supportive, very happy, very good. Whatever trip we're taking here, either for family uh, friendship or love. You have every reason to have hope. You have every reason to think that this thing is going to be awesome. So just trust where you guys are going. Make sure your car's in good working order and or for some of you guys, make sure that we've got a hold. Maybe we're going to have to rent a vehicle when we get there. Okay. So if we're going to the beach, we're going, we got to take some place by like a cruise. You know what I'm saying? So just pay attention to that. Interesting. Interesting. I also think for some of you guys around love and relationships, some of you guys might be investing or having to travel to like, hold on, we'll wait for that for health. That's for health. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Just a run of relationships this week. I don't really think we have anything to worry about. So what are we invested in? Are we ready to settle down for some of us, especially with the queen of coins? Are we ready to settle down, get serious, get real, build something of substance? Okay. And again, the horses are off. We're ready to fucking Thundercats go. Like, this is gorgeous, okay? And so there's a lot of movement here. Um, so either this week you guys are talking with that important earth element female or you guys are her or that's just the energy we got to take on. Make sure that the money is invested in the right thing. Make sure that we're doing this before Mercury goes retrograde April 1st. April 18th is when that shadow zone shows up. So get it done this week, okay? If you guys got to plan something, Um but this is beautiful, okay? So just hold on tight. Especially, too, if there's been a period of separation between you guys and another female here. Uh, just hold on. I do feel like maybe by June, July, we're reconnecting here. Everything's okay, and we're reinvesting in, our, in each other, okay? Just make sure we tell the truth. Get our fears and worries out of there uh, so we can sit down and pick a direction. Which way are we going, okay? This is around work and career. 
For some of you guys, you might have an offer coming in for an important female boss. Uh, we might have to travel for this work or travel for the interview. Um, again, make sure your car is in good working order. For some of you guys, might actually get a vehicle. Okay, I know, I feel like I said that last week. Some of you guys might actually be getting a vehicle from work, <laughs> okay? Or they might let you, you know, use a vehicle out of their fleet, whatever here. Uh, yeah, for some of you guys, you might be taking a trip for work. Um, and this just feels like it's actually going to be really fucking good. This also might be a really good time for some of you guys might be like networking. Please remove that fear and worry. Invest in yourself. Okay. You are worth investing in is almost what I want to say. So don't be afraid of the networking scenario. This is actually going to go incredibly well. You will be victorious. And actually, I think you're going to come out of here with either a couple different leads. Uh, yeah, a couple different leads. I don't know how else to put that. Uh, for some of you guys around work and career, we might... <laughs> maybe this is about starting our own fucking business and you guys need to hear that it's Thundercats Go. June and July again, or maybe around the 6th, 7th of a month, we're making a decision on this and we're finally investing in ourselves. I'm really fucking proud of you guys. This is huge. This is, I know it's terrifying, but you have every reason to have hope and faith and optimism about the future. How are you picking the direction that you're going in so that you can finally fucking do this thing? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right. And then around health and healing for some of you guys this week, we might be going to support an important mother figure. Um, man, uh, for some of you guys this week, this mother figure might have to have some type of surgery. I don't know whether this is on her chest or the stomach area. I feel like the torso. So it's somewhere in the torso. There's so many things on the torso. Okay. <laughs> so either the chest, the heart, the lungs, or the breast themselves, or like the stomach, the intestines, the kidneys, the pancreas. Do you know what I'm saying? There's something maybe here, especially with the rabbit here, there's something here about like the womb or the uterus. Okay. That we might be having to deal with. Uh, maybe she's got to have some kind of surgery here and we're going to help take her. We're going to actually like literally drive her to it or drive her back from it. Um, if this is about somebody else this week, please, please, please. I don't know if they're into psychic mediums, but please tell them to hold on tight. This is going to be okay. You have every reason to have hope and faith about the future. You're going to be just fine. Okay. Uh, for some of you guys this week around the queen. Uh, okay. For some of you guys around health and healing, some of you guys might be looking at like in vitro, or maybe we're going to pick, uh, the sperm donor. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, I think that it's going to be successful. If you notice again, the queen here, she's got that rabbit and look where she's holding that star right above her fucking uterus. <laughs> okay. So I do feel like at least one of the eggs will implant and everything will be okay. Or maybe here we finally, uh, get a hold of somebody, a good, uh, donor that we like. Everybody's on board. We might have to travel for it though. And I think that this will be really good. So turn it into a trip if you can. Okay. Um, for anybody, for anything else, for anything else, uh, this week, I would just say, make sure that you're investing in yourself. Make sure that you're clear on what it is that you want. And don't be afraid. Maybe for some of you guys, I probably should have said this earlier, but some of you guys, enough burning candles, enough asking people to cut cords of attachment, enough Reiki, enough, all of this stuff for some of you guys. I feel like some of you guys, need, somebody needs to hear this, that like, you just need to forgive yourself. So if you're wondering why, like all, all the other stuff isn't working, or I can't let somebody or something go, maybe there's something here about you forgiving yourself. And then all of a sudden the door's fucking open. And listen, I'm not saying you did anything wrong. Maybe for some of you guys, it's just letting the person through the door. Or trusting, even though your booty told you otherwise, don't fucking do it. Do you know what I mean? But you did it anyways. <laughs> okay. Whatever the fuck happened here, fucking forgive yourself. That might be the missing link for some of y'all. Okay. So listen, listen to me. No matter what this week, you fucking got it. Invest in yourself. Love on yourself. Forgive yourself if needed. And know that the future holds not only movement, but we are not stagnant. This is about you getting clear on a direction and then everything fucking taken off. The real question is, are you ready? Tally ho. All right. And card pile number three. Y'all got some interesting cards on this one. Uh, the first one is the four of stars, AKA the four of coins. The next one is the five of wands. And then finally, you got the Ace of fucking stars, a.k.a. the Ace of coins. It's beautiful, actually. All right. 
So four of stars is kind of like, this is my foundation card, or at least I always see it as like building foundation. And so for some of you guys, like we might literally be breaking ground and like purchasing a piece of land, breaking ground, building a home from the foundation up. And so the energy is kind of the same with that. Like, where are you breaking ground right now? And are you building from the ground on up? Make sure it's a solid fucking foundation. But also with the four stars, this is kind of holding on to things, hoarding stuff, you know, uh, not letting things go. Like, look how tightly this guy is holding on to everything. And he's got those ankle ankle things around his ankle. You know what I mean? Like, just holding on. He's like, fuck you if you think you're going to take it from me. <laughs> hey, all right. So I feel like here with the four of coins here, this can also be like hoarding, holding on to stuff, not being able to let something go. Uh, just feeling like I've got to like hunker down on something instead of just maybe stopping for a second, listening, investing, um, seeing in what ways, you know, we can build something up here or take care of ourselves. So again, in what ways are we investing here and are we working from the ground on up? Um, also too, with the number four here, this is going to reference four weeks, four days, four months from now, uh, four years from now. Uh, but with the four of coins, this moves the slowest. This could be months or years, but also I'm going to reference the month of April. And then with the five of wands, uh, this is fire. So it moves pretty fucking quickly. Those fives are also bullshit and fuckery. <laughs> Yay. With the five of wands here, this is kind of bringing a conflict uh, to the table or it's making us recognize there's a conflict going on here. Now with the five of wands, this is kind of be like, um, this can kind of be a fist fight with ourself. This is one of the only fives though, where I lovingly get to tell you that if there's a fight going on between you and another person or even you with yourself, you are actually correct. Okay, you are correct. I love this card for that. <laughs> it's always meant that for me. And I don't know why it shows up that way. But anyways, so with the five of wands, like this is just saying there's bullshit and fuckery around. And so a lot of times this is us fighting with ourselves, fighting with another, like just quarreling, fucking around. Like it's just, it's too much. And so there's a lot of heat. There's a lot of anger here. There's a lot of frustration. So how do we stand back for a second? And are we just winning to win? Or are we really fighting for something that, you know, that we actually really truly fucking want? And so we got to sit down and understand like what our motivation is here with the five of wands. Okay. Again, with the number five, uh, that's going to reference the month of May, five weeks, five days, you know, five years from now, uh, with wands, it moves the quickest. So I'm looking at five days to five weeks, but again, I'm looking towards the month of May. And then finally the ace of coins, like y'all, this is gorgeous. This is like new opportunities, Fresh, this is prosperity coming in, abundance, new beginnings, an offer that is so beautiful and has so much potential that if you don't take it, you're the dummiest, bubblegummiest person I've ever fucking met in my life, <laughs> okay? okay? And especially with these other cards here. So ACEs also stand for the number one. There's going to be a reference back to the month of January, the first of a month, one day, one week, one year from now. Uh, coins moves the longest, so one month to one year, okay? But again, uh, reference maybe here back to the month of January. Now, if we were looking for a yes or no this week, I would say that this is a yes, as long as you're willing to take a chance. Are you willing to take a chance? Or would you rather stick with what you know? Okay, for some of you guys uh, this week. Now, if we were looking around love and relationships, my goodness, there might be an offer coming towards you, but I don't know if y'all are open to it. So listen, if this is around maybe like a situation where we're in separation or we were in a fight with somebody and like we were like, go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> with the five of wands, go fuck yourself. I know I'm correct. I know I'm fucking right in this thing. Double check to make sure that that is in fact true. Okay. But also I just told you that you are correct. You are right. Um, and with the four stars, we're holding true to what the fuck we said. So unless this person's offer comes in with an apology or this person's offer comes in with some kind of way to talk about maybe what happened, I don't see you guys being open to this. I really fucking don't. Uh, because, I mean, why would you take this opportunity if the other person couldn't even talk about the previous situation or whatever happened here? That needs to get resolved before any new opportunity comes in that I think that you would be even willing to listen to, <laughs> okay? Because, I mean, look, look at the fort. Their eyes are closed. They're like, you can go fuck yourself. I mean, look, I'm going to try to get it to focus. Let's see if it'll focus. I just want you to see her eyes because she was like, absolutely not. Arms crossed against her chest. I got what I got. Like, I'm fine. I'm fine. You can go fuck yourself. I'm fine. <laughs> so 
So for some of you guys this week, good luck to the person coming in with an offer. They better do it right. Again, with the reference here back to the month of January, I'm looking at May and I'm looking at April. There's going to be some important points here, okay? I do want to say here, though, with the Ace of Coins, like this offer is legit. This offer is real. This person's thought about it, especially with coins. Like they have taken a while either to come your way. So whatever's coming might be after a long period of separation, okay? My only issue here around love and relationships, especially around love and like sexual relationships, this it has a tendency to be one of my friends with benefits cards, okay? So maybe the option of coming in here and maybe you split up with somebody because you weren't the first option and you're like, I gotta fucking go, okay? This isn't working. And then they come back in, they're like friends with benefits, then you need to decide is that something that you really fucking want, okay? So just know that this person's motivations, even though this thing is real, they really thought about it, maybe to them this feels like the most appropriate or this feels like the best way for everybody to get what they want. Um, decide for yourself whether that is something you're willing to put up with, that you want, that that's something that works for you too, okay? Uh, this is more around like friendship and family stuff. Woo! Okay, hold on. <laughs> I just felt the drama. <laughs> hold on. There might have been a fight here around a child. Mm. Somebody might be claiming a kid. And traditionally with the eight of coins, to me, not always, but almost, uh, this is a boy. Okay? So somebody here might be fighting over a boy or like, who's the father? Who's the parent? Who's taking care of this kid? Okay, I want you to know that you are correct. Whatever you're picking up, whatever you're thinking, whoever you're fighting with, you are right. Okay. Ooh. And maybe here for some of you guys, you're not willing to let go. So unless this person feels like they are actually safe and like this is actually good for my son, do not. I need you to fucking trust yourself. Don't put your kid in a situation of people, please. Okay. For some of you guys, I am begging you. If you know somebody is not a good person or they don't have good intentions or there's just continual bullshit and fuckery and or this person has abused you in the past, what makes you think they're going to treat your kid with love and respect? I don't care who this person is. Okay. Remember what they did to you. Okay. For some of you guys that resonates for it, remember how they treated you. Why would this person treat your child different? Please, I'm begging you for some of you guys, be careful with your children and who we're letting take care of them, see them be by themselves with. I'm begging you guys. Okay. Hold on to your baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I, but again, that this feels like a fight to me. Uh, and especially with the five of wands, like you are correct. Please fucking trust yourself. And maybe for some of you guys, hold your children tighter. Okay. Ooh, please trust yourselves, goddamn. All right. Um, maybe I'm... All right, around work and career. Man, some of you guys know that you would get more money, have a better opportunity. If you just got out of the fucking job that you're in, why are you holding on to this goddamn thing so bad? Listen, for some of you guys around work and career, maybe you're staying at a place to make a point, or maybe you're trying to prove something. Why? You are wasting your energy, your love, your heart, your time, your joy. You are wasting it. And so if there's a better opportunity out there that's going to pay you more, give you better options, the whole nine yards, go and fucking do it. Go and fucking do it. Like you do not need to sit here and just waste away in a space just to have a job. Make Remember y'all, half of these places will replace you with not even batting an eye. If you died on the job, they wouldn't give a fuck. They would replace you tomorrow. So why the fuck would you give up everything that you are for a place that is not even respecting you? Please make sure that you're aware this week and give yourself the opportunity to move on. I Maybe it's even a safety and security issue for some of you guys. Maybe you're worried you won't be able to make as much as what you're making here somewhere else. I am telling you, with the ace of fucking coins, I'm telling you that you are. And so maybe for some of you guys, quit fighting with yourself around it. You are right in the sense that there is something out there better for you, but don't let your fears and worries around safety and security hold you back from finding that. If you're just clinging to that, guess what you're always going to be clinging and chasing after? You're right. Safety and security sounds like a boring life to me. If you go towards this new opportunity or something beautiful that you actually fucking want, then that safety and security follows. Then you get, I'm telling you all, give yourself the chance. I'm starting to get so hyphy, but... <laughs> Give yourself the chance to get out of this fucking job and go towards something that actually makes sense for you. God damn. Um, for some of you guys too, you might be fighting with another to hold on to a project. Please motherfucking trust yourself. You are correct. This thing has potential. Hold on to it. All right. 
All right, and now around health and healing. We might be dealing with an individual this week. It might even be you <laughs> who is afraid to go to the doctor. All right. Um, with the four of stars here, this might be a male or female. This person might just be really not open to going to the doctor and you're fighting with them because you know something's fucking wrong um, and you are fucking correct. And we might be in this important moment right now that if we get this person in there, they might be able to catch something before it turns gnarly. If you got a feeling that won't fucking let go and you're trying to get another person to the doctor, I'm telling you right now that you are correct. Do whatever the fuck you can, but you cannot force another to do something. Do you hear me? You cannot force another person to do something. So somebody's really digging in their heels and fucking refuses. You got to let this person make the best choice for them. Do you hear me? I know it's not what you want to hear. And you are in fact correct. The most that you can do is maybe go gather information, leave it there for them. And when they are ready, they will fucking let you know. Okay. I'm telling <laughs> that's literally the only thing that you can do. Um, for some of you guys around health and healing, uh, well, listen, y'all know that coins always are going to represent the skin, moles, freckles, go and get your fucking skin checked yesterday. Go. You are correct about something. Uh, we might have to remove a mole. There might be like a seriously like large mole or large freckle or like a star shaped something on her body <laughs> that we might have to go get checked out. You know, quit fighting with yourself going back and forth. You are correct. Go get that sucker checked out. You're going to be okay. All right. Um, I would just say around health and healing this week, what are we holding on to? What are we afraid to see and to hear around our health? Maybe that's the very thing that we got to lean into. So quit fighting with yourself. Get into the doctor. Get into the specialist. Go get the thing checked out. Take care of yourself. Okay. Maybe give yourself the opportunity. Excuse me. Give yourself the opportunity to have a new beginning. To have abundance. To have joy. To have whatever the fuck we want here. Okay. Finally, I want to say around health and healing for some of you guys. You might be holding on, uh, there's a lot of fertility stuff coming up this week, but for some of you guys might be holding on to some of like embryos. Okay. Maybe we've only got four left and we're afraid to use them. I'm telling you, one of these guys is going to be it. And I already ruined the gender. <laughs> so I hope you weren't hoping to be a surprise. I'm sorry. I'm like this. <laughs> okay. And so I want to tell you guys, please, please, please go in there and just use one of the embryos or use the last of the embryos here. One of these is going to take, this is going to be gorgeous. This is also one of my pregnancy cards. Okay. This is going to be gorgeous. Uh, but you got to stop fighting yourself for real, for real, for real. Just go in there and get her done. Um, anything else for health and healing? This just feels like, not really, but I just want to say for anything else around card pile number three, this week just feels like, make sure that where you're holding on to Makes sense. Make sure that who we're fighting here knows that you're correct <laughs> and that <laughs> and that you're ready to take maybe here, maybe to have a new beginning here. And so if this is in protection of another, then motherfucking trust yourself. If this is around your health, motherfucking trust yourself. Get past your fear and worry and just go get it checked. You're going to be just fine uh, to another person, too, if you're having to deal with that. Um, and then around love and relationships, motherfucking trust yourself. I really fucking mean this. And, and the same thing around work and career too. But just make sure whatever we're holding on to here this week, uh, make sure that it, we're not white knuckling it. Make sure it makes sense. Whatever we're protecting or holding on to or building from the foundation up, like quit fighting yourself. Listen to what the fuck you're saying and trust that this new beginning coming in, um, give yourself the chance around it. Okay. Okay. All right. I hope to God that fucking made sense. Guys, any and all feedback helps me to grow. Middle fingers for no, could call for yes. All right. I love you guys. Let me know how it was for you and I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you guys out there. Bye.